Hello, Jefferson families. Welcome back to our health lesson today. We're continuing on with our nutrition labels, and we are now talking about calcium. Calcium, you've heard of it before. It mixes great with something called vitamin D, which is the sun. So calcium is a mineral that is found in foods, sp specifically dairy, and stored in bones and teeth in our bodies. It is essential, it is necessary, it is mandatory for growth and development of children and adolescence has made strong bones and teeth while assisting in muscle contraction, nerve stimulations, and blood pressure. So why do you think you have milk every day at school? It's essential for your growth. Let's keep going. Our bones can be seen as the bank of calcium. If calcium is not deposited, as in we don't drink or intake enough calcium in our bodies, it will be withdrawn from the bones to be used in other areas of our bodies. If this keeps happening over time, bones can become weak and brittle, which may lead to osteoporosis. So Mr. Briggs is allergic to milk. I cannot have milk. So that means I have to find a new way to get some sort of calcium in my diet. How do I get dairy in my diet if I can't have milk or cheese? I got to take pills. I have to take other supplements, other things, to eat other things to do that. So. The amount of calcium absorbed in our bones is dependent on the amount of calcium that we eat and how much vitamin D we get. Vitamin D is essential for calcium absorption and is gained primarily through sunlight. So why do you think Mr. Briggs says go outside? Because it's essential for you. It can be found in small amounts of food, such as fish and egg yolks. I love my eggs, so egg yolks. Many foods are now fortified with vitamin D. Even in Australia, even though it's not here, these include margarine, bread, breakfast cereals, milk, yogurts, and juices. So a lot of the foods you might see at the store, when you're look, checking your nutrition labels, they say fortified with calcium, which means they added calcium in there to make sure you can get your daily calcium intake. Now, what they're seeing, though, I know, what we're seeing, the, new, uh, the government and what the surveys and all of them are saying is that 77% of girls and 64% of boys aged 12 to 15 are not getting their daily requirements for calcium. So if you're not getting the daily enough uh, amount of calcium, what happens? That your bones lose the calcium that's built up in them and your bones start to become brittle. So that means if you fall, instead of just a normal fall where you fall in the past, you go, ow, that hurt my arm, I'm okay. You fall and your bones so weak, it just breaks. So that's why when people say, oh, you have weak bones, brittle bones, that's because you're not getting enough calcium. So you got to make sure you get your calcium. So how much calcium do you need? Uh, it recommends for your elementary students about two to four servings a day, I would say. And guess what? That's part of our test here. So two to four, two to three servings a day. Why? Well, some say if our younger kids are only have one to one and a half, one to two, and our olders are two... Just take two to three servings. It's calcium. That's a glass of milk, some cheese. There you go. So the following products contain calcium, but in smaller amounts compared to dairy products. So you can have your milk. You can have your cheese. That's easy. You can do that. But other ways are leafy green vegetables. It's like broccoli. Ooh, I love broccoli. Bok choy. Fish. Fish is a good one. Nuts and seeds. Those are good. Calcium fortified foods. It's perfect. Calcium fortified foods. So you get the food and you look, you're like, oh, I don't think this has calcium. You can now read the nutrition label and you'll see how much calcium is in there. And it'll say on the right thing, fortified. So great thing to think about. Now, as we move on to our next one, um, we went two to three. Dark leafy vegetables have them. Salmon. There's uh, cereals. Tofu. I don't like tofu. If you never had fo tofu, it's fake meat. Some people love it. Mr. Briggs is not one of those people. Now, eight ounces of milk. Great choice of it. Some dietary choices that decrease calcium. So wait a minute. If I just don't drink milk, I don't, I don't have any dairy in my body. That means my bones are starting to lose it and my bones are getting weak, correct? Yes. But what happens if I'm just drinking no calcium? I'm drinking soda. And I'm using a bunch of caffeine and alcohol and tobaccos. That actually decreases as well. So there's other ways to lose calcium besides just not drinking milk. But what if, well, Mr. Briggs, I'm having my milk at school. But if you're having three, four sodas on a weekend, 
that's just knocking out all that calcium you had. So then you got to have more and more. You're getting it, then you're losing it. So you got to make sure you decrease all those or even amount, I guess you could say. And also go outside. Great source of vitamin D is the sunlight. So vitamin D helps with absorption of calcium. So go outside. Quick tips for small, strong bones. Balanced diet. Calcium, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, exercise, especially weight bearing. The best extra are running, walking, dancing, soccer, because soccer is outside, vitamin D. Running and walking, you're not going to run inside unless you have a treadmill. But if you are, perfect. You're getting exercise. They're bone bearing, weight bearing. So your bones are getting workouts. If you're just sitting around, not doing anything, looking at the screen all day, your bones aren't getting any work. You're not really getting that calcium. So when you start to move around more, your bones are still weak. So all in all, you now know a little bit more about calcium. You're not too sure? Look at the calcium label, the nutrition label on there. Check foods, check cereals that say fortified with calcium, which means add it in there. Go outside. Vitamin D, it's excellent for you guys. Thank you so much. Good job, Eagles. We're staying strong. See you guys soon.